It's me I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to hear about the art work that I've seen I'm just kidding guys I would like to talk to you about an artwork that I've seen uh, on our station. Uh, actually, I didn't see it on our station. I've seen it on the our station plugin that I have installed on my uh, Google Chrome. What this plugin does, it's instead of when you open up a new tab on uh, your Chrome browser, it, uh, instead of opening a blank page, it gives you a random artwork from our station. And uh, what I liked about this, uh, this extension is uh, the randomness. It's giving me the chance to see some of the artworks that uh, otherwise I wouldn't be able to see because they are so specific that uh, it wouldn't cross my mind to actually look for some of these keywords that uh, uh, would, uh, uh, are the subject of this artwork. And so, yeah, I think this plugin is a pretty cool feature. It's free. Uh, I'm by no means affiliated with our station. Uh, I'm not uh, advertising this. I think it's a brilliant little feature, a uh, nifty little feature that uh, if you haven't already installed on your Chrome, provided that you're using Google Chrome, give it a go, give it a shot. And uh, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, to go back to the subject, uh, I've seen this artwork uh, uh, by an artist called Roman Semenenko. He's a concept artist and an illustrator. Uh, you can see his artwork, his gallery. Uh, he's got a pretty cool gallery over at our station. And so, so I've seen this uh, artwork of his that he titled Fishing. And uh, uh, I really liked it. I liked it so much that I wanted to record this little thing here. I think it's uh, uh, it's a freaking good artwork and uh, I love everything about this piece. I love the palette, the, the colors are spot on. Uh, the wild and warm uh, green coniferous forest in the background, and the cold dark green water uh, with a bit of uh, translucency or subscattering or whatever uh, happening across the disturbed bits of uh, water surface. Uh, the shocked fisherman uh, in the foreground, the giant mysterious creature in the background. I also like the fact that uh, Roman did not fell for the trope um, in an illustrative uh, sense, where uh, uh, where you'd expect to see a uh, you know an entire monster or uh, or at least a monster's head poking out of the water, you know, uh, jaws wide open, thousands of teeth. Uh, I like the fact that uh, most of the monster is hidden from us, and uh, uh, it's uh, it's just uh, it it evokes a sense of mystery, and uh, I think it's uh, playing to the strength of this work. Like uh, it makes it better for me personally. Uh, like you know, the less is more. Uh, here, uh, this works perfectly. I think this is a. Uh, Fantasy and horror of every fisherman out there. Uh, imagine the shock and disbelief of the guy in the small boat, uh, sitting there in a small vessel, watching his fishing lines and floaters on top of a lazy, calm water surface, uh, hoping something would bite, uh, uh, waiting patiently, but nothing uh, happens, nothing really bites for hours on end, uh, birds chirping in the distance, flies and mosquitoes buzzing around, if you ever went fishing, you know what I'm talking about. This is uh, your everyday, uh, like your, you know, usual fishing experience. And uh, uh, one of the reasons that I think this uh, artwork resonates with me so much is uh, that I used to, um, I loved going fishing when I was a kid, back when I was seven or eight years old, something like that. Uh, my uncles and my father, they used to pl uh, plan these fishing trips uh, over weekends, and uh, sometimes they would take me uh, with them. And uh, I was ecstatic. I would become so excited, I couldn't force myself to sleep the day before the trip. I just wasn't able to fall asleep. I would envisioning and fantasizing about this uh, uh, fishing uh, uh, trip uh, uh, as, uh, you know, fantasizing about throwing uh, out the, the line and uh, the floater would sit atop of the water 
all of a sudden it was tugged beneath the water by this big fish. I would fight it, I would reel it out, uh, I would win. But uh, another thing that I remember as well, I was fantasizing about what if we go there and, uh, you know, we're fishing, we're, you know, minding our business, and uh, all of a sudden this some sort of giant creature that no one ever seen uh, decides to show itself to us, like, I don't know, a giant snake or a giant uh, catfish or, um, uh, uh, you know, a giant eel or a turtle or some mind-boggling creature that, you know, it's, it's so big and uh, we are happy enough to see it but you know survive it or something i think this artwork uh, illustrates this uh, fantasy of mine in a perfect way and uh what i'm getting at i i, th- I guess uh, is um imagination is a powerful tool my thinking is if you can focus enough and imagine something with enough detail and play it out in your mind like a little movie it becomes a partial reality. Give it some time. This imagined thing uh, becomes uh, indiscernible from reality to some extent. Think about it this way. You're at home eating a piece of fruit in the kitchen. The day is coming to an end. Suddenly your wife or your child, they're calling you from outside the house. You walk out and see them pointing at the neighborhood. Big owl sitting at the top of a street uh, light pole. And just as you spot it, beautiful bird spreads its uh, magnificent wings and silently soars off out of the view. Not something you see very often. And uh, this event sticks with you. How different this event that happens uh, happened is from the, the one that is uh, being illustrated in this image. Um, one happened, granted, and the other one didn't. But regardless... Both will be equally vague when you think back about them in uh, one month from now or one year from now. Uh, There won't be much difference in how your brain handles the memory and imagery of these two events. It's just a knowledge that one thing transpired, actually, and the other one uh, hasn't. That's the main differing factor, I guess, between the two things. So, yeah. I guess my main kind of takeaway from... uh, looking at uh, an artwork uh, such as this is uh, uh, yeah imagination is a powerful tool imagination kicks ass i like being imaginative i guess my message would be uh, you know stay imaginative and uh, yeah uh, that's that's pretty much it what i have to say about this artwork hope you guys weren't bored with my uh, talk here and uh, yeah catch you guys next time